Hi guys. Uh, my name is Cedric. I go by the name Mosa Family online. I'm married with one beautiful wife, Joan. I am a doctor by profession. I am not a pastor, I am not a prophet. But I want to clarify something about uh, Seventh-day Adventist. There is uh, something that was uh, posted from a documentary in NTV yesterday, or yesterday part one. Uh, and uh, I really pity that man who was doing a narration about losing a whole family into a group that is allegedly originating from Seventh-day Adventist church. Yeah? It is quite unfortunate, but I want to clear everything out that that exactly is written in the Bible. Those are false people who are coming out as per the Bible. If you read the Bible from the book of Second Peter, chapter 1, it says those people, and let me quote, False people appeared in the past among the people. And in the same way, false teachers will appear among you. They will bring in destructive and true doctrines. That is exactly what those people are doing. Yeah? And so they will bring upon themselves sudden destruction. End of the quote. That is... Second Peter chapter two, uh, chapter one, that clearly tells us that false teachers will come. So those people are just false teachers that are there in the Bible. Remember, we are talking about Second Peter, which is those are the last books in the Bible. Actually, Second Peter, First Peter talks. Uh, the, the headline is false teachers. If you go to Jude. The book of Jude, actually it is the letter of Jude. Yeah. Chapter starting from chapter three, chapter one, verses three. The headline is false teachers. I want you to take your time and read and understand. That is when you get to understand that these people are written there in the Bible. But they are destroying the the name of Seventh day Adventists. And this is the best the best church that we have in the whole world because everything that we do everything that seventh day adventists do is written in their doctrines is there in the bible actually the bible is the key or the guiding principle for the seventh day adventists we use the bible to defend ourselves in everything as we wait for the second coming of the of the messiah that the allegations were, you are not supposed to eat something. You're not supposed to go to a uh, hospital. I am a doctor by profession. Seventh-day Adventist. We have churches. We have schools. Yeah, The allegations were there that actually people are dropping out of school because the teachings say we are the end of the world. There is no need for you to go to school. You're not supposed to go to hospital. I mean, those are false teachings that you read. Actually, if you go to uh, chapter 2 of Second Peter, it says, and I quote, Even so, many will follow their immoral ways, and because of what they do, others will speak evil of the way of truth. Chapter 3, it says, In their greed, these false teachers yeah i repeat in their greed these false teachers will make a profit out of telling you made up stories i want you to read that is second peter chapter uh, chapter one chapter two and chapter three so chapter three puts it clear that these people will be making out profit of telling you made up stories those are made up stories for a long time now their judge has been ready and their destroyer has been wide awake. Yeah? Very clear. The Bible puts it very clear. So don't talk about Seventh-day Adventists. We are using the Bible as the key, as the guiding principle.
This is what guides us. And if you really look at everybody who is a Seventh day Adventist member, very straight. Everything about us is very straight as we wait for the second coming of Jesus Christ. I want to reach, give you so many books from the Bible because we normally use the Bible. Actually, go read this Jude. Jude is talking about false teachers. Jude is the second last book in the Bible. Yeah, we're talking about Revelation being the last one. And I'm not, I've, I've not talked about Revelation. Why? Because we are in end times. And most of these things are there in Revelation. But I'm talking about we are getting into the end of times. Now we are from Second Peter, which is almost the last, yeah, the, the last books in the Bible. Second Peter, First Peter. First Peter, the title is False Teachers. Yeah. Second Peter, I, I mean Jude, the letter of Jude is false teachers. If you got this Bible, if you got the revised standard, that is what you will, that is uh, the headline from Jude. And then now you get to Revelation. You need to follow the teachings of the Bible. And these things are said in the Bible. Actually, go read from the book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse nine. Manabi wa wongo, yeah. Read from the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse five, which talks about many will come in my name, yeah, <laughs> claiming I am the Messiah, and they will deceive many. The same same information. You will read it in, in Mark chapter 13, verse 6. Yeah? Read Luke chapter 21, verses 8. He replied, Don't let anyone mislead you. Yeah? For many will come in my name. I'm reading this straightforward from the Bible. That is, go read and understand the Bible fully. Yeah? And then, but the best part of this is, it goes ahead and says, the time has come, yeah, but do not believe them. That is exactly what is written in the Bible. But do not, do not believe them. Read Matthew chapter 7 verses 22. Those are Bibles that... The, 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 the books in the Bible that directly hit into the points that you need to understand about the end time. Yeah? So, we as Seventh day Adventists, yeah? Actually, from the book of John, chapter 5, verse 43 says, You will welcome others on their own name, but reject me. Yeah? You will welcome others on their name but you will reject me kindly do not reject the right thing do not reject christ do not reject the truth what you need to do is follow read the bible follow the right way it's not all about the church that you're going to it's not it's all about what is there in your heart and make sure the bible is the guiding principle yeah, because as per now, we should not be talking about somebody who can deceive you into a certain uh, group because the Bible tells us that end of time, all this will appear. And now you need to be very, very careful. So uh, as Seventh-day Adventist, uh, we come unto you people to say we use the Bible as our guiding principle and uh, there is no teachings. There are no teachings that we have that defile teachings in the Bible. Everything for SDS is straightforward. May God bless you so much and go to church, read the Bible. God is the one who will assist you in anything in this life. Thank you so much. Bless you.